Yuki. That's the hot rod. 2009 Kia Soul. You gotta have it professionally installed. Alright, this is the rear camera. Very small unit. You can barely see it through the tinted window in the back. You can barely see it at all. Now they did a very good job of installing it. They actually ran the wires through and down and came out through here. Again through the roof, no wires hanging down. So don't do it yourself, you're gonna have a mess. There's four wires. Alright. Okay. That's the little camrock. Small unit. Very small. It's installed with just a sticker right on the windshield. When it's a super bond sticker. And you can see the wires leading up and they're all done well. Quite well. No wires hanging out anywhere. That loose one there is power. Alright. So. What's that loose wire hanging down there you say? Well. That the one loose wire hanging down goes to the navigation. And there's really no way to install it from there to there. Oh well, maybe I could cut it later, but if you want to view your driving on your navigation, you'll need this extra wire. Okay, so there's four holes, one for power. Video out to the navigation. GPS and the rear cam. This one came with an external GPS antenna, showed you before. Professionally installed, the wire is run through underneath there. You need that. Alright, let's get right to it. Before you put in the chip, make sure the power is off. I have this wired to the battery, not the key. So, if you do that, make sure the power cord is out. And I hope my little 4 gigabyte chip works alright. Sometimes these things can be a pain in the butt to get in there. This one seems to work alright. Push in with your thumbnail. So you hear it click. Alright. And this is an important step. It's going to update itself. It's going to update itself when you turn the power on. Alright, I didn't start the car because it's hot wired. The red light and the forward power light, which you can barely see. And then you're going to get a little flash. Alright, two beeps. The second beep. I mean, the update is done. And then you have either have to switch it on and off again, or just simply push the record button once. And that will set the update and start the camera operation. Alright, in order for the navigation to work, that is wired into the jack. So I'm going to start the car and turn that on. I don't know if you can see on here, there's only two buttons on this little camera. REC, record, and mode. Alright, so this navigation has an option for AVN. Hit menu, AVN. And there's the front view of the camera, smack dab into the wall, recording. All right, but behind me, okay, you click mode three times fast, clink, 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 switch to the rear view camera, and there you have it, it's successfully updated. Hope this was helpful. See you later, bye.
All right, just came back from the car. Uh, I want to mention the last thing. I plugged in the other eight gigabyte chip I had, and as you can tell, hold on, it's full, of course, because it went two days. But you can also, if you have a player that can play MP4 videos. You can watch all your videos uh, on a, any PC. I recommend a GOM player. GOM is the best player out there in my, in my book. It does a lot of stuff. Download it free. Yeah, and that's it. It's, a, it's a, one channel at a time. Alright, so probably if something happened, this is what you'd be giving to the police. Just zoom along. It looks like it's going a lot faster than we really are. But, uh, that's it.